Today, we delve into the disquieting case of Arthur Hector Fernandez III, a 29-year-old man from Houston. This case unfolds within the bustling corridors of the Houston Galleria Mall, where Arthur was employed. As the story goes, Arthur allegedly partook in a deeply unsettling group abuse of two innocent toddlers that were in his care. The acts that transpired were not only disturbing in nature but were also filmed, with some of the horrifying scenes unfolding in a public bathroom. These allegations are severe and carry weighty consequences, casting a chilling light on the depths of human depravity. The case of Arthur Hector Fernandez III serves as a stark reminder that danger can lurk in the most unexpected places. The Fernandez case brings to light the importance of understanding the potential dangers in our communities. Dangers can take many forms, from the physical to the digital. In the physical world, individuals with harmful intentions can pose a threat to our children, just as Arthur Hector Fernandez III did. On the other hand, the digital world is home to a different kind of danger. Cyber threats, like the ones posed by the misuse of apps such as TikTok, can compromise our children's safety and privacy. Beyond these, our children are also exposed to potential harm from businesses and corporations. We've seen cases where companies such as Google have been questioned about their practices related to data privacy. It's a stark reminder that our private information can be misused for profit, but as parents, we are not helpless. Our awareness and involvement in our children's lives can act as a protective shield. By understanding the dangers that exist, we can guide them, educate them, and empower them to make safe decisions. We can teach them to be cautious about who they trust, both offline and online. And remember, it's not just about protecting our own children. It's about safeguarding our community's children. By sharing information and keeping an open dialogue with other parents and community members, we can create a safer environment for all our youngsters. Awareness and vigilance are our strongest weapons against such threats. In our fight against these dangers, conversation and community vigilance play a crucial role. It starts at home. Open discussions about safety with our young ones can equip them with the knowledge and courage to navigate through life's uncertainties. Talk about the good and the bad, the safe and the unsafe. Let them know it's okay to say no when they feel uncomfortable and to always speak up when something doesn't feel right. But it doesn't stop there. Our communities must also step up. We must watch out for each other, keep an eye out for anything unusual and report suspicious activities. It's about fostering a culture of care where every member feels responsible for the safety of the other. Remember, vigilance is not paranoia. It's our collective responsibility, our shared commitment to a safer world for our children. It's about being proactive, not reactive. And in this shared mission, every voice counts. Your thoughts matter in this discussion. Share them with us and let's work together to make our community safer for our children.